Gas flaring is a tremendous waste. It's uh, a waste that we simply can't afford. We can't afford it from the perspective of climate change. It accounts for 2% of all GHG emissions. Uh, and in a world where we really are under increased climate pressure, we simply should be able to get rid of waste in this way. Secondly, we can't really afford to waste gas, uh, associated gas, which is such a, a precious uh, fuel, um, and that gas will be a very important part of energy transitions for the future. And in a world where we still have 1.3 billion people without access to energy, we need to be able to use all of the energy we have in the most productive way possible. We, the World Bank, have challenged um, the community, uh, not just the members of GGFR, but hopefully new members, to um, cut by uh, a third uh, gas flaring in the next five years, another 30% reduction in the next five years. We think this is eminently doable, it's a stretch target, but we think it's an important contribution to, uh, to climate change mitigation. It's an also an important contribution to energy efficiency and an important contribution to the United Nations Sustainable Energy for All commitment, which the World Bank Group is also a part of. Huge, huge volumes of associated petroleum gas are currently flared or vented from oil fields worldwide. This uh, APG has a very significant impact on the environment and it presents a valuable untapped resource. This is a fantastic event because what we've heard this morning is some great stories from companies about how they've invested in reducing gas flaring. I mean, clearly this is a very wasteful practice. Um, despite the fact that there are good sort of financial and environmental benefits, it is still quite difficult to deploy the technologies to capitalise on that gas and to use it in a useful way rather than um, flaring, which is the, the topic of the event today. So what, what, I, what I think is brilliant is some of the, the practical stories, uh, the, the, the description of what companies have done, the, in, the environmental benefits that they've reaped as a result and the financial benefit. If we were to talk about you know, the, the, the benefits and the co-benefits of uh, investing in gas flaring reduction, you know, clearly there's a huge carbon emission reductions impact that contributes to the environmental benefit. But I think what's more compelling for business people is what are the financial benefits. And I think if you turned all of the gas that was being flared into a commodity that could be sold at world market prices, we're talking about something in the order of $50 billion. And that's the thing that really puts a financial bottom line to the environmental uh, challenge of investing in gas flaring. It was a challenge for us to reduce gas flaring, uh, especially at our remote um, areas, with the help of the European Bank for Construction and Development, uh, uh, who supported our gas flaring reduction uh, program. It uh, was possible, it makes, uh, it makes happen to reduce gas by rejecting it uh, back into reservoir instead of flaring. Uh, so we uh, guess that uh, by the end of the next year we will reach uh, the uh, almost total utilization of uh, the APG produced.